Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole and today we're going to stuff paycheck number four of July and before I get started I just wanted to say please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and even comment. I love getting the feedback and I'm trying to hit a goal of 500 subscribers and once I do I have a bunch of ideas for different giveaways that I want to do so please share the channel, comment, like, subscribe. It all helps. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into it. So I was leaving my coins in my wallet and using them, but my wallet's getting way too heavy, so I'm just going to take them out and put them into my jar. My jar is a lot lighter than it was because I exchanged the coins, and uh, for my place of work, I exchanged them for bills, and I put the bills into my savings jar. So that's why it's lighter. I'm going to go ahead and just take out the rest of these coins. So for DoorDash, I made a total of $434.87. And for my part-time job, I made a total of $163.69. And just to put things in perspective for you guys, this these amounts are for the exact same amount of hours. Both of them I did 19 hours of work and I tripled what I made at my regular job. It has proved to be way more profitable than just my regular job where I make minimum wage. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out for you guys. Now let's go ahead and talk about my debt. So the balance on my card is $210. And this is my Discover card. And this is going to be due August... 18th 2020 obviously and the amount that's going to be due is 35 it's the same amount that's always due but I always end up paying more than that so I'm only going to be paying 110 but let's go ahead and talk about my cash envelopes the first one that I have is gas and normally I want to put $50 a week in here so that is what I'm going to be able to do it's been working out so far so the total is just going to be 50 Then next is my spending. Spending, I usually want to do 50 It kind of varies. Whatever I can put, I will put. If I can put more, that's what I'll do. Um, so this week, I'm putting 65 And then the total will just be 65 Next up is beauty. And beauty is going to be getting $5. I said this last video, um, but... Beauty, I'm not really using it because I haven't been out to get my nails done. Um, I still don't feel completely comfortable going out, uh, so I'm not really using it. So I figured $10 was just a bit too much to put every week when it could go towards something else like car maintenance or other things that are important. So speaking of car maintenance, this week it's going to be getting $50. And gifts, I'm not putting anything into the spending side of gifts, just my chart for Christmas, and that's going to be getting $37. Then we have miscellaneous, and miscellaneous is going to be getting $10 this week. So, like I said, I'm trying to cut back on miscellaneous because I noticed it was just extra spending. So that's only going to have $10 in it. The savings amount that I chose to do this week is 185. That's one of the bigger amounts on my chart and I chose this amount because last week I only was able to put 20 so this week I figured I'd make up for not putting a lot. And then DoorDash taxes are 20% so that's going to be $86. And now let's go ahead and lay out the money and stuff the envelopes. So first up is gas, and there is some money left over. There's five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars that I'm just gonna put to the side. And this is going to be getting fifty dollars today. So I'm gonna do 20, 40, 50. Next up is spending, and I don't think there's anything in spending, no. 
it's going to be getting 65. So we're going to do 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next up is Beauty, and Beauty is just getting $5 today. So let's go ahead and count. 55, 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 70. So there's a total of $70 in Beauty. Next we have car maintenance and car maintenance is going to be getting $50 today. So let's go ahead and count 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 70, 90, 500, 20, 45. So there's 545 dollars. Next up is miscellaneous, and I did end up keeping that five in there, so that's going to get put to the side as well. And this week it's getting ten dollars. And next up is gifts. And this week, the amount that we chose to do is 37, so I'm going to go ahead and color in the 37. So let's go ahead and add 37, so 20, 30, 5, Two ones, and now let's go ahead and count. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 319 dollars is in gifts or for Christmas. And so that means we're almost halfway there, which is good because I feel like it's creeping up on us. It's going to come <laughs> come out of nowhere. So the number that we chose this week for the chart is 185. Let's go ahead and color that in. Next week, I'm going to show some more love to this side. I always stick to one side and I don't know why. But that means this should be 185 left. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5. So that looks good. And we're also going to be adding everything that was left in our envelope. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So all this will be going into this jar. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll it. I used to roll them like individually, but I noticed that I was taking up a lot of room in this jar. And this jar is a lot, well, this bottle is a lot smaller than my other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And then I'm going to roll these up as well together. So we're just going to review what each of my envelopes have. Uh, Beauty has $70. Car Maintenance has $545. Gifts has nothing because I don't track what's on my chart side. And then Miscellaneous has $10. And that's all for my video. Like I mentioned earlier, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'm hoping to reach my 500 goal soon. And as always, I will see you guys next week.